Okay, we return another integral. This one's from the Vienna integration B, 2024, problem 26. We have the integral from zero to pi over two of x times cosine of two x squared plus pi over two dx. Okay, to get started with this, the first thing, really the only thing we need to deal with is everything going on inside the cosine here. Now there's a few ways we could do it. We could actually use the different angle formula on this to just simplify it. But even if we do that, we'll still have a something squared. So we're gonna to need to do a u substitution either way. So let's just do a u substitution for all this stuff. So I'm gonna set my u equal to two x squared plus pi over two. Take a derivative on this and our du value is just gonna be, this is gonna be four x. Derivative here is just gonna be zero and we'll have a dx on the end. Now in order to set up this u sub, we already have the x here. If I just multiply it in a four, then we have four x dx right here. I don't want to change it, so let's multiply by 1 over 4 in front. So next, we'll go and substitute. I have this 1 fourth in front. Taking pi over 2, and you plug it in there, pi over 2 squared is going to be pi squared over 4 times 2 is going to be pi squared over 2. We still have this other pi over 2 in front here. Then you plug 0 in here. This 0 is at this, but we still have pi over 2 for the lower bound. Then substitute this. This here is just going to simplify all the way down to cosine of u, and everything else is just going to be du. So at this point, we have kind of complicated bounds, but we've got a very easy integral to do. Integrating cosine of u, that's just going to be sine of u, and we just need to evaluate this with these complicated bounds. So doing this, we'll pull this one fourth out front. Evaluating at this upper bound, we're going to, I'm just going to leave it because I don't really know how to simplify that right now. So we'll just leave it as sine pi squared over two over pi over two. And then for the second part, we have minus sine of pi over two, but that's just gonna be a one. And this right here, this is a fine solution. This is correct and this matches what Vienna has in the answer key. Although I'm not that comfortable with it. I don't really like having this in this form. It's fine, but let's see if we can simplify this a little bit. So what I wanna do for this is we'll use the different angle formula for sine that just tells us, this just tells us that for sine A plus B, this is going to be the same thing as sine A cos B plus sine B cos A. So when we do this out for what we have here, sine of pi squared over 2 plus pi over 2. Using the formula, we're going to have sine pi squared over 2 times cosine pi over 2, but that's just going to be a 0 right there at pi over 2. And then for the second part, we want sine of pi over 2, but that's just a 1 times cosine of pi squared over two. This part's gone because the zero, this part's just a one. And so what we're left with for this expression is cosine pi squared over two that we can take and put back right there. So for another form of this solution, I can write this as one fourth cosine pi squared over two minus one, and that's it. Okay, there you have it. Quick integral from Vienna 2024. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a good day.